This video is part of our tutorial series for the SIG300. I'm Jazz, an AI avatar, and I will guide you through this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to integrate the SIG300 IO Link Master into an A7 1500 PLC environment using the Siemens TIA portal. In the first step, I have created an empty project, which includes a basic configuration for a Siemens 7 1500 PLC. In order to integrate the SIG300 into the Profinet network, the General Station Description file, GSDML, of the SIG300 must first be installed into the Siemens TIA portal. To do this, we click on Options. Manage General Station Description Files and run through the process. The SIG300 is now included in the hardware catalog and can be attached to the application project. Navigate to the device configuration and click on the Network View tab. In the hardware catalog on the right side, we can find the SIG300 device under other field devices. Profinet I.O., Gateway, SIC AG. SIG, SIG300. Select the correct version from the drop-down menu. The device can be added to the network view via drag and drop. Afterwards, the SIG300 must be assigned to the Profinet controller, in this case, an A7 1500 CPU. We can access the device view by double-clicking on the SIG300 device plate. The SIG300 is a modular device. A slot is available for each device port S1 to S8, which can be configured according to your application. You can choose between modules for connecting standard I.O. devices and I.O. link devices. When selecting an I.O. link module, please ensure that the process data of the connected device fits into the respective module. In this example, we connect a SICK MPB10 I.O. link multi-physics sensor to master port S1. As specified in the operating instructions, the sensor supplies 20 bytes of process data input. As no module with 20 bytes of process data input is offered, we select the next larger submodule with 32 bytes. Unused ports can be filled with a deactivated submodule. The behavior of the master ports during the startup phase can be configured in the module parameters. Select your master port and open its properties. Among other things, the behavior of the additional pin 2 can be defined here. In this example, we configure pin 2 as a digital input. Depending on the sensor configuration, a digital signal is now transmitted from the I.O. link device to the input address of the I.O. link master submodule, which can be used in the application program. In addition to the settings of the digital signals for pin 2 and pin 5, the I.O. link validation can also be set here. In this example, we'll set up the I.O. link port to use the I.O. link data storage feature. Doing so backs up all device parameters for easy device replacement. To do this, it is necessary to switch the port mode to I.O.L. manual and set validation and backup to type compatible V1.1, device with backup and restore, to enable the IO Link Master to check if the correct device is connected, the vendor ID and the device ID are also required. The information can be found in the operating instructions of the device. The Profinet name and the IP address that the PLC is to assign can be set up under Properties, Ethernet addresses. To assign the Profinet name, right-click on the device plate and select the context menu, Assign Device Name. A window pops up which enables us to find the SIG300 Profinet device in the network and give it the configured name.
Now, download the project to the PLC. The raw data of the MPB10 sensor is accessible using the configured I.O. addresses. To monitor it, we create a new watch table and add the corresponding input address as a byte representation. The operating instructions describe how to interpret the process data bytes. Now you have learned how to integrate the SIG300 IO Link Master into an S7 1500 PLC environment using Siemens TIA Portal. The process includes project setup, GSDML installation, device configuration, and monitoring sensor data. In the next tutorial, we will look at how to access the process data and how it can be used in the PLC application. Thanks for watching.